Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's. Hope that you guys are doing well. It's time for another This Week in Fragrance. We got some big ones coming out. We got a new Cartier, a new Calvin Klein, new John Varvatos, a new Mercedes Benz, but the biggest one, a new Yves Saint Laurent Y. That's right, a new flanker or a new jumping off point for the Yves Saint Laurent Y line came completely out of left field, like legitimately the last thing I would have expected, but here we are. So let's jump into it guys. Let's talk about some of the upcoming new releases that you have to look forward to. We're gonna kick things off with the new John Varvatos. It's Varvatos XX Artisan Teal. And I gotta tell you guys, I love the look of this bottle. I don't know why, but something about it when I saw it, I thought that is awesome. That's the best looking one so far. The Artisan line really well known for having those woven bottles, kind of a basket weave style. And I just think this one looks really sick. And this one is actually already available at Macy's and I have ordered it, but it hasn't come in yet. John Varvatos XX Artisan Teal is a new fragrance inspired by the John Varvatos brand's heart and soul, which is the celebration of style and music. With its woven rope casing and marine inspired glass, the bottle is daring and handcrafted. I'm gonna take them at their word, but that's pretty cool if it actually is handcrafted to the point where every single one of the bottles that comes through has people weaving the basket over top of it or excuse me, the rope casing, not the basket. This lively and aquatic fragrance is easy to use on a relaxed day or on your next adventure. Citrusy lemon and herbaceous rosemary provide a bright and fresh opening inspired by fresh beach emotions. At the heart, pink pepper and water lily bloom for an aquatic vibrancy. Mineral driftwood, gray sea salt, and signature musks like rhythmic ocean waves add depth for a relaxed moment. A light watery scent with the calm sophistication inspired by both old world craftsmanship and cutting edge design. So it has lemon and rosemary in the top, pink pepper and water lily in the mid, and then driftwood, sea salt, and musk in the base. Barbados fragrances don't seem to get the hype that they used to, which is a bit of a shame because even some of their newer releases, some of their more recent ones, are still really good in my opinion. So this one, as I said, looking forward to, think the bottle looks awesome, already ordered it, can't wait. Then let's talk about the new Cartier really quickly, and then we'll get on to the new YSL. Cartier Pache de Cartier Limited Edition is a new collector fragrance launched in 2022 under the Pache de Cartier collection. A new opus with a deeply intense signature brought by the warmth of sandalwood, a sensual and confident amber fragrance trail. Not too much going on with this one as far as the note breakdown goes. Amber, sandalwood, patchouli, balsamic notes. That's it so far. Pasha de Cartier Parfum is a fantastic fragrance. I love it. So to see a new limited edition coming out gets me pumped. Now, looking at this note breakdown, at least the few notes that they do give us, it has a lot in common with Pasha de Cartier Parfum. So my expectation is it's going to be a little bit of a riff on that one. But as I said, that fragrance is great. So any kind of new iteration of that, I'll take. Now on to the new YSL. It is Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Toilette. 2022. And just a fair warning, guys, there is a big bunch of information on this one to go through. So basically what Yves Saint Laurent has done here is they've gone into Y Eau de Toilette and they've said, yo, this isn't working so well for us. We need a new version of this. Giving me shades of Dior Homme 2020 a little bit where Christian Dior went in and changed up Dior Homme, just slapped the year on the end of it and said, here you go. This is what it is now. That's what YSL is doing with YEDT. Interestingly enough, as of right now, nothing else changing. Why Eau de Parfum staying the same, the other flankers staying the same. It's just why Eau de Toilette is now getting a facelift, a change, a reimagining. So let's jump into it. The why man, the self-made man. Why new Eau de Toilette captures a new, more intimate moment in the story of the Y man, embodied by Y's iconic ambassador, Lenny Kravitz. A fearless experimenter who lives at his own pace. He embraces everything that has made him who he is today. His motto, to know where you are going, you have to know where you come from. Very inspirational. Therefore, reconnect with your roots. Go back to the sounds, the sensations, and the smells that shaped you. The extremely fresh and intense, sexy scent of self-realization. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. The sexy scent of self-realization. I accept who I am. The new Y Eau de Toilette by YSL is a mineral woody fragrance that contrasts with fresh lavender and aromatic sage 
both from French Provence, with a crisp green bite of geranium bourbon heart from Madagascar. All three ingredients are specially made for YSL Beauty. The fragrance combines a wonderful freshness with the warmth of sensual wood, sexy amber, and addictive incense. In addition, the rosy geranium and full-bodied vanilla overwhelm you with the soft, sweet, and fresh experience. Experience a new level of intensity with this fragrance, a new intimate blue wave of clean and sexy, refreshingly vibrant, yet powerful and everlasting with an exceptional intensity of 12 hours in one spray. Jeez. I've got a wonder on that one, right? 12 hours with one spray, that's, that's pretty strong if that's the case. The new Y Eau de Toilette, apocalyptically strong. The new Y Eau de Toilette 2022 is the ultimate compliment getter. Easy to wear and easy to love. Now, when you look at that note breakdown, it's not that far removed from the original from 2017. The top notes of bergamot and ginger, both of those were in the original and they're here still in the new one. In the mid, it now has lavender, clary, sage, and geranium. So the new thing there is gonna be the lavender. And then in the base, the new note that you're going to find is vanilla. That wasn't in the original and it's in this one here. So it remains to be seen how much of a change this really is. If it's just, like I said, a tweak or a, a slight reimagining, or if this is a real true overhaul, where when you smell it, even though the notes are pretty similar, it smells quite different. Regardless though, obviously YSL has taken a look at YEDT's performance and they've decided we need something different. And the fact that they specifically say that the new Y Eau de Toilette is indeed completely separate, but, 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 Y Eau de Parfum is staying the exact same, tells me that they're not really enthused with how the original is performing nowadays, I guess in terms of sales. So they wanna distance that a little bit and say, look, we came out with this new thing and it's way better and plus it lasts 12 hours. But Y Eau de Parfum is still performing really well. So they wanna make sure everybody knows, but this is the same. Don't worry, it's the same. But that one's different, you should, you should buy that one. And I do love the way they describe their fragrance. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be a big compliment puller, like they say, very versatile, like they say, but it becomes almost like word soup, word salad, word stew, where they just put in all kinds of buzzwords, right? Not realizing that some of those words don't match up all that well. Like when they say a uh, full bodied vanilla will overwhelm you with this soft, sweet, fresh experience. And then they say one spray will last 12 hours. So what is it? It's massively hardcore performing. It's gonna overwhelm you, but it's very soft, gentle. So it's going to gently punch you in the face with intensity. Obviously though, I cannot wait to get it and try it out and see if it is a big step forward from the original YEDT. If it's basically the same stuff, just switched around and not really all that interesting, or if it's actually a step back, I guess soon we'll see. Up next, the new Calvin Klein CK1 Palace. This is done in cooperation with London-based skate brand Palace. Essentially what it seems they've done is they've taken the original CK1 and they have refreshed it with frosted mandarin for a bright, fresh perfume, as well as violet leaf and oak moss. So they're giving you just those three notes right now, a frosted mandarin, violet leaf and oak moss and the top mid and base. With it being a CK1 flanker, I'm not overly enthused. I mean, really at this point, as far as CK goes, um, the CK1 summer flankers are about all I pay attention to. And I pick those up typically at a steep, steep discount. But who knows, maybe it'll be decent. And uh, with it being Calvin Klein, I would imagine before too long, and I don't mean this as a shot at Calvin Klein, but I would imagine before too long, it's gonna be at discounters for not that much. Let's wrap it up with Mercedes Benz, the move, live the moment. And interestingly enough, this fragrance created by perfumer Dominique Ropion, who did YSL Y. The move, live the moment, is a perfume that expresses the spirit of freedom, the essence of city life, and intense fragrance that embodies movement, modern life, and the desire to live the day to the fullest. Mercedes-Benz has taken the time to dig deep and understand what makes millennials vibe, offering up a tailor-made fragrance in response. Dominique Ropion, the nose behind the move, has created a refreshing, addictive gourmand take on the original. The note breakdown as we have it right now is pretty simplistic. In the top, ginger. In the mid, bergamot, sage, and geranium. And in the base, patchouli and benzoin. I've said it before, Mercedes-Benz is one of those fragrance houses. Well, technically a car manufacturer, but fragrance houses that 
makes quality sense at a steep discount when they do go to discounters. Some of them like Mercedes-Benz Club Black reach almost like a, a cult-like status of hype. Uh, and then a lot of the other ones just kind of fall by the wayside. Best guess, this one will be a decent pickup, but probably nothing earth shattering. Of course, as always, gotta wait for it to come out and see how it actually is. Could be really solid. No breakdown, a little bit plain, but we'll see. So there we have it. Some new fragrances coming out and some that are already available at your local Macy's. That new YSL obviously gonna be the one that gets the most attention. And this could be the new normal. Fragrances not wanting to really give up on a line that they have established, but wanting to replace ones that are underperforming. So they just release a new version, keeping the same name and just throw the new year on the end of it. YSL Y 2022 and YSL Y 2017 are now things. So we'll see if any other brands follow up and do something similar as time goes on. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.